Hi, my name is Esther. I'm from VictoriaLaneFarms.com. Today, I'm going to share with you how to paint an antique clock. Like this one here. So if you'd like to see how I do that, stay tuned. Thank you everyone for watching. I am dedicating these next two videos to my Aunt Mary and to my cousins, Melissa and Jeremy. She is my greatest supporter. She's watched all my videos, read my blog posts, and she's been so encouraging to me. And I am so grateful for her and I love her so much. So this video is for you, Aunt Mary, and the next one I'm dedicating to you. I'm gonna be painting this antique clock For this project, I am using this folk art home decor chalk paint in the Turkish tile. It is a really pretty blue. The other thing I'm using today is this Annie Sloan white wax. And I'm using frog tape to tape up the glass of the clock. And I have a stir stick to stir the paint. I am using this really small paintbrush. I'm using this garbage bag to cover my table as I paint. So now I am going to put the camera down so you can watch how I do this. I'm taking all-purpose cleaner and a cloth and I'm cleaning off the glass and the wood. I'm opening up the clock and I'm cleaning the glass on the inside. Now I'm going to add frog tape. And I'm using my finger to tuck in the edges. I'm taking this folk art paint and I'm stirring it. And now I am going to apply it to the wood. First, I want to turn it around so you can see it. Painting the sides. Oops, I painted the hinges of the clock and so I'm wiping it down with a wet cloth. And I'm continuing to paint all the surfaces, all the crevices, that I see and I'm getting a small brush and I'm going to apply paint around the hinges and now I'm painting the top And now the other side. One of the things I've learned when painting furniture or frames is when you turn things sideways, you can see areas that are missed. I am going to let this dry for about 30 minutes. I'm turning the clock upside down so that I can paint underneath. I'm making sure that I'm getting all the wood covered. So now I'm going to let the underside of the clock dry. 
have waited for this paint to dry. Um, I am ready to apply the Annie Sloan white wax. So I'm going to show you how I do that. I am taking the white Annie Sloan wax and I'm using a microfiber cloth to apply it to the wood and I'm making sure that the wax is chunky. I want it to um, have build up along the edges. I like that look. It makes it look rustic. And then I am taking a clean side of the cloth and then I'm rubbing it down. And then I'm repeating this all over the wood. And I'm finding that using my fingers to apply to these little spindles seem to work because I want the white to build up along the edges there. And then I'm taking the cloth and wiping it down. And I'm repeating that same thing on the other side. And I'm making sure that everything is covered. So now I'm finishing up areas that I haven't done yet, like this underside area. to dry and then I'm going to show you what it looks like in my dining room. I am so excited to show you the reveal. Here it is on this shelf on my wall. I added some flowers and there are two Goodwill frames on either side. And then I put two transferware cups stacked on it on top of each other and a plate on top. I think it turned out beautifully. What do you guys think? I'd love to hear your comments down below. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'd love for you to subscribe.